As the world waits to hear what caused Prince's death, TMZ is reporting that the singer survived a drug overdose days before he died. Rachel Slavik is following this story and she joins us now with more. Rachel? Amelia, a toxicology report will answer any questions about whether there was any type of drug in his system, but that could take weeks. TMZ, the celebrity gossip website, reported this morning the singer overdosed on the painkiller Percocet. So we looked into the drug and its impact on the body. One day after the world lost its purple prince, how he died remains unanswered. Fans who attended his Saturday concert at Paisley Park remember hearing him talk about the flu. And I think he was still kind of just getting over what the flu had, you know. But a report from TMZ alludes to a much different scenario, a Percocet overdose that landed his plane in Moline, Illinois. The gossip website reports the singer took the prescription drug for hip pain after a previous surgery. So it's a... Uh oxycodone and it's combined with acetaminophen. Dr. Jacob Hutchins, an anesthesiologist at U of M Health, has seen the impact Percocet can have on a patient. It decreases your pain but also increases that euphoric feeling. Commonly prescribed after surgical procedures or for acute pain, the drug has become one of the most common prescriptions in the United States and one of the most addictive. If you're using it in ways that aren't as prescribed or you're using it in larger doses than as prescribed, you can have side effects. It's why some doctors at U of M Health no longer use Percocet as a first choice in pain relief, instead turning to less addictive alternatives like Tylenol. You're seeing more and more physicians, especially in the acute pain setting, really try to find ways to minimize opioids. Now again, the medical examiner has not ruled on the exact cause of death and it could take weeks, but Dr. Hutchins said today most patients who are prescribed Percocet or Oxycodone only need the pain management for three to five days after surgery. However, with this highly addictive nature, for some people that is long enough to become hooked. All right, Rachel, thank you.